Hey everyone, Jason here, digital marketing consultant, and in this Ultimate Sales Funnel software review and showdown, we are going to be looking at ClickFunnels, Kartra, Kajabi, Builderall, GetResponse, and shopping cart solutions like CartFlows, SamCart, and Thrive. Cart. So links in the description to a timestamp table of contents along with some other review videos that actually take a deeper dive into these softwares, comparing them side by side. We're not going to worry about WordPress and all of these reviews are based upon actually using the software to build sales funnels. So if you're trying to figure out what the best affiliate program is, this video is not for you. We're actually going to be focused on building this funnel. So as we look at the pros and cons, I'm going to be assuming you need a sales funnel that's going to have a landing page that you can split test, send some emails, have a sales page or video sales letter, have an upsell downsell sequence and deliver a digital product. So with that, let's go ahead and let's waste, not waste any time. The first one on the chopping block is going to be ClickFunnels. Now, when it comes to what makes ClickFunnels unique compared to all these other solutions is it is very good at holding your hand through the process of building your funnels. And it has a lot of pre-done funnel formulas for you where you can just say, I want this type of funnel and it will automatically create Create the proper sequencing, but it does not have emails, but we'll get into that in a second. So the strengths of ClickFunnels is the simple drag and drop page builder, the limited template library, which might actually be a con for most people, but as speak, coming from someone who's built a lot of sales funnels, you actually don't need all those templates. That's really just a feature that sucks in new people. You don't actually need a bunch of templates, but if you want a bunch of templates, ClickFunnels probably isn't for you. Also for strengths is split testing. Something that's really cool with ClickFunnels is it makes it dead simple to split test literally every single page in your funnel. And when it comes to upsells, I think ClickFunnels has one of the strongest upsell sequences here, especially because you can have 100% control over customizing your upsell pages. So it's very, very easy to do almost anything you need to do with your upsells and downsells. Now, when it comes to the weaknesses of ClickFunnels, the number one weakness is the page load speed. And this is actually the only reason that my agency doesn't use this for some of our clients. And that is simply the ClickFunnels pages for whatever reason are very, very slow. And I don't mean just the back end in terms of using it to build your pages. I'm talking about the front end when someone on a mobile device or even just a laptop with a not great connection can wait anywhere from three to five seconds for your landing pages to load. That's a really big deal for some people. The other weakness here is the funnels are linear. So what this means is the founder of ClickFunnels, Russell Brunson, has apparently spent millions of dollars on advertising and figured out what types of funnels work and what types of funnels don't work. And so his software is a reflection of his tests and his view on how you should build funnels. So if you don't agree with how you he thinks you should build your funnels, then ClickFunnels definitely isn't for you because you're going to run into a lot of bugs, which is another weakness, if you try and change things. If you follow the flow of what ClickFunnels is actually just designed to do, which is literally just put together a funnel where someone enters their name and email, they see a sales message, you send them a couple of emails to get them to a shopping cart where they go through an upsell downsell sequence, and then you ship them off to your membership website. If that's all you need to do, ClickFunnels is not going to have a bunch of bugs. Most of the bugs people run into is when they're trying to do something fancy or different outside the basic straight line linear funnel. Now the last weakness of ClickFunnels actually comes down to their membership sites. I've actually seen, I personally had this problem and I know some other people have, and that is while they do have membership sites as a part of their platform, the integration between people buying and actually getting access to it or getting access to things they're not supposed to have access to yet seems to still be an issue. So if membership sites are going to be a large part of what you're doing, as in you're going to have multiple levels and you're gonna have multiple little add-on packs as opposed to just having one standalone product for each one of your funnels, then ClickFunnels might not be for you when it comes to the membership side. Of course, personally, I recommend using WordPress for membership websites, but in this review, we're looking at it from doing everything inside of one piece of software. So ClickFunnels compared to something like Kajabi is going to be significantly weaker when it comes to the membership side of things. And I forgot in the strengths column, they do have live chat and their live chat is actually really good. So if you're brand new and you're trying to figure out what's going wrong in ClickFunnels, they actually do do screen shares back to you and try and help you make sure 
sure your funnel is actually working properly. Now, what is ClickFunnels missing? So those are the strengths and weaknesses of the features that they do have, and we're not going to talk about webinars because all of these are weak on webinars, is the fact that you're not going to get the ability to have email or run an affiliate program with the $97 a month plan. You'd have to purchase the $300 a month plan, but I'm not going to compare that for a second here. And then also you're going to have to pay for your own video hosting. With the exception of Kartra, which we'll get to later in this video, all of these solutions are going to require you to have your videos hosted someplace else. Now let's get into the pricing of ClickFunnels. For some strange reason, and you've probably noticed this too if you're doing your research, a lot of other articles and videos only talk about the $300 a month plan for ClickFunnels. And I actually personally don't recommend that. So as we go through the rest of this review video, compare ClickFunnels at $100 a month, not the extra $200 that you're going to spend just to send some emails and have an affiliate program. I definitely don't recommend purchasing that higher tier just to have those two features. Now, when it comes to pricing, it's actually pretty reasonable. It's just $100 a month. And then if you buy an annual plan, it's going to, you're going to save a month and it's just going to be $9.97. So this chart shows you what you would cost, what it would cost over a two year period. Year number two is assuming that you're going to be paying a full year in advance, because if you're just getting started with the software, you're not going to pay 12 months in advance. That doesn't make any sense. You're going to pay month to month the first year to make sure this is exactly what you want, because you're pretty much just getting locked into a sales funnel builder. So you want to pay just per month and 20,000 visitors per month for just a hundred bucks is a pretty nice restriction. And as you see, you'll see in a moment with some of these other page builders, that's actually very generous considering the price point. Now, number two on our list is like nails on a chalkboard to me. And that is builder all. So we're going to go through this one very quickly. We're just going to list off pros cons. And then I'll tell you why you shouldn't even bother looking at this, even though it's so, so heavily promoted. So in the strengths column, we have it's cheap. It's hard to be $30 a month for all the features that you get. And that's really its unique selling proposition. You get all this cool stuff for an insanely low price. Now, the other strengths is it has a ton of templates, pre-done funnels where you can select sequences that are already set up for you. It has email marketing, chatbots, membership sites, heat maps for tracking, mouse activity on your websites. It even has an application builder and webinars. The weaknesses is the user interface is overwhelming and it's quite buggy and it's a network marketing company disguised as a software as a service. So essentially, even on their own site, Builderall is not shy about the fact that they are very, very heavily invested in their affiliate program. So a lot of people who talk about using Builderall will just talk about the affiliate program. So if you watch any review videos and someone talks about how much money you can make with Builderall, they're just talking about selling Builderall. So they've put together a piece of software with a great affiliate program so you can sell the piece of software. That's pretty much the definition of a network marketing company. And I don't know of any serious marketer or business owner who actually uses Builderall outside of promoting Builderall. So it's like you buy a software so you can promote the software to make money from getting other people to buy the software and promote the software. Kind of sounds like a pyramid, but it's technically not. It is just a glorified MLM. Now, this next one on our list, number three, is Kartra. And this is a relatively new player to the all-in-one sales funnel solution. Its unique selling proposition is the fact that not only can you, with a click of a button, get all of your pages set up in a pre-done funnel, it also has pre-done email sequences that go along with it. And because it's a fully integrated platform and it actually hosts your videos, unlike all these other solutions, what that means is you can actually track every single thing that happens throughout your funnel. So the real unique selling proposition of this is because they do such a good job of including almost every single feature that you'd want. And by the way, it's much better quality than Builderall, even though Builderall tries to say they have everything, is the fact that you can actually track every single thing that goes on with your funnel, which means if someone abandons the cart, someone watches a specific amount of a video, or they don't watch the video, then you're easily going to be able to set up triggered email sequences to change based upon people's behavior, which is really powerful if, asterisk, you have a lot of traffic. If you don't have a ton of traffic, then these features aren't going to make a whole lot of sense because you're not going to reach statistical significance. Although, Obviously, that's my personal opinion. So let's go through the rest of the strengths here. You get a drag and drop page builder, split testing. You do have upsells and downsells. And as we already mentioned, you do get video hosting. And for the weaknesses, it is a relatively new piece of software. It's only been around 
just under three years now. And so there's going to be probably a little more bugs than what you would experience with something that's been around for a while like Kajabi or ClickFunnels. Now, uh, Builderall is definitely always going to come in last place when it comes to the stability of whatever code you're looking at. The other little thing that I don't know if it matters or not, but one of the co-founders of Kartra wound up selling up, selling up, selling all of his shares and then invested in a competitor. So I don't really know what to make of that because the two co-founders have actually done a lot of software together in the past. They were actually the people behind EverWebinar and Webinar Jam, if you're familiar with those, but now they seem to have split off. So I don't know if that's because of personal reasons or a problem with the software. So take that with a grain of salt. The other big downside here is it is a jack of all trades. And so when you have a piece of software that really literally tries to do everything, you're ultimately going to wind up not having the best feature set when compared to a solution that stands on its own. But in terms of just price, in terms of everything that you're getting, it's somewhat reasonable, but we'll get into price here in a little bit. I'm going to leave price as a weakness though, as you'll see. And right before we dive into pricing, there are no missing features. You can pretty much do everything you need to for building your funnel with Kartra. Now there are two pricing models here. We have starter and we have silver. So starter, something that's really important to note is you have a 25,000 subscriber limit, which is actually incredibly, incredibly low. And you're going to be paying $99 a month, not $79 a month. This is again is with the actual price you're paying. $79 a month that you may have seen elsewhere is if you pay a year up front. And then if you're going to have more than 25,000 subscribers, then you're going to be paying something like $200 a month or $150 a month if you wind up paying for a full year. So again, in this pricing chart, the first year is paying month to month and the second year, presumably you like the software, so you're okay with paying one year in advance. They also have a two year in advance option, although I'd pretty much never recommend doing that unless you've been using a software for literally years and you know for sure that you'd never want to switch. And looking at this pricing table, I'd say the biggest weakness is really the limits on the number of contacts you could have. I think the limit on the $100 a month is just way, way too low. Now the next one on our list, number four is Kajabi. It's been around the longest, so it has the best reputation in terms of just having software that actually works. And so its unique selling proposition is being the best all-in-one solution for online course creators. There are a lot of big, big people in the online course space who use Kajabi just because it's so simple and easy to use and put together. So let's rapid fire go through some of Kajabi's strengths. Again, it has a page builder. You can actually build your website using Kajabi, although I wouldn't recommend putting your website on anything other than WordPress. Of course, you have split testing, some upsells and downsells. Something that differentiates Kajabi is the membership sites, I'd say are a step above everything else on this list. And the membership sites allow you to have quizzes. So if you're doing any sort of corporate or professional training and you need people to take quizzes or potentially give people certifications, this would be the closest you could get to the features of Teachable, which is another piece of software that's specifically for membership websites, which is why it's not on this list. You also have surveys. So if you want people to fill out a survey before they're entered into your email sequence, and then you want to segment those people based upon their responses, then Kajabi might be the solution for you. ClickFunnels does have the ability to take surveys, but it is limited in terms of how you can segment people based upon their responses, but hopefully ClickFunnels actually updates that later on because that would make the ClickFunnels surveys almost comparable to what you can do with Kajabi. And the last big feature of Kajabi is something called Kajabi Pipelines. And this is something that Kartra pulled straight from their software. So just as we talked about with Kartra, you have the ability to, with one click, have all of your pages set up and your email sequences set up. Kajabi can do the same thing. And I forgot to mention with Kartra and Kajabi, they both have quote unquote professional copywriters write emails and landing pages for you. So all you have to do is follow their copywriting formulas and easily switch out the copy for whatever's most relevant to your audience. So I don't necessarily see that as a great big thing because copywriting is something that should always be personalized to you and your business. But if you're trying to get something done quick and dirty and you have no time or energy or desire to hire a professional copywriter because they are pretty expensive, then that feature is going to be really nice. Now, when it comes to weaknesses of Kajabi, there are only a couple, and that is customizing pages, specifically customizing the checkout page. You're going to have a lot more control over what your checkout page looks like and what you can do on your checkout page when you're looking at Kartra and ClickFunnels versus 
is Kajabi. And for missing features, they don't have the ability to have you run an affiliate program natively with their platform. So if affiliates are going to be a big part of what you're doing, you might wanna be looking at the other two solutions. Now for pricing, Kajabi is definitely the most expensive on this list, starting at $150 a year. That will give you three products and three pipelines, AKA three funnel funnels and up to 10,000 subscribers on your email list because they include email automation and 1,000 customers. If you're going to pay $200 a month, you get bumped up to 15 products, 15 funnels, and then 25,000 subscribers and 10,000 customers. Again, year one is paying month to month, year two, two tier, <laughs> year two is paying annually. Now, if you're sick of seeing all of these super expensive solutions, then this next one might be for you. That is get response. So when you get to the pricing table and you're like, I don't want to pay thousands of dollars a year, get response might actually be for you. So get response is actually going to be the newest in terms of features. So it's one of the oldest companies on this list, but it's the newest in terms of actually creating their sales funnel side of things. So the great unique selling proposition of GetResponse is really their price and ease of use. So when it comes to what you can do, the strengths, it has a page builder, it allows you for split testing, and email marketing, I would say, is one of the strongest on this list because GetResponse actually started as just a email marketing provider. And then they moved into landing pages. And then a few years later, now they moved into funnels with their new auto funnel feature. So something that I like is you pretty much get a full-fledged email marketing suite inside of GetResponse because that was their core business. That's where they started. And then they added on the page building and funnels later on down the road versus some of these other solutions that are reversed where they started with the funnel building and then the email marketing is just kind of layered on top of it as, oh, cool, it's a bonus feature. So now we can charge more. So when it comes to the weaknesses of guest response, you actually don't have the ability to have upsells with your checkout. It's pretty much just a checkout that integrates with PayPal or Stripe and you get paid and then you have to send emails to have people set up their memberships. Whereas the other ones, because they're fully integrated, those accounts are automatically going to be created. The other downside, in addition to no upsells and no membership integrations, is you're not gonna be able to run an affiliate program using GetResponse. They do have a live webinar function, by the way, and that's just a bonus feature. I don't really want to talk about webinars here though, because that's a whole nother problem. So when it comes to pricing, GetResponse is going to be the least expensive and their limits depend upon how many subscribers you have. So I just started at 2,500 subscribers, $25 a month. If you're just going to build landing pages and emails, so more likely you're gonna be looking at the $60 a month plan that allows you to put together those sales pages, shopping carts, and webinars. And at just $1,200 a year, this is definitely on the lower end of all of the pieces of software that we're looking at. Now, the last three we're going to rapid fire through because they're not actually full-fledged funnel building solutions, but they do take care of a part of your funnel process that a lot of other just basic page builders don't actually handle or take care of. And this is your checkout sequence, your shopping cart. So we have three to look at right here. We have Cartflows, which is for WordPress. We have SamCart, which is a standalone solution. And then we have Thrivecart, which is also a standalone solution. Now Cartflows is $300 a year, SamCart $99 a month, or pretty much $1,200 a year. And then Thrivecart is going to be $600 one time, which really you should just consider it $300 a year. I'll get to why on that in a second. So first up we have card flows. Now card flows is something that's going to allow you to customize all of your checkout pages, integrate with pretty much anything you're doing with WordPress and also customize your upsell sequence. And it can integrate with your autoresponder, whatever that may be in order to send emails based upon shopping cart abandonment and what upsells or downsells they did or did not purchase. Now, when it comes to looking for a solution that isn't based on WordPress, then that's where SamCart and Thrivecart come in. I think SamCart out of the two is significantly better, obviously, because you're paying a lot more for it. But with SamCart, I should add, and as an asterisk, you're gonna have to pay $200 a month if you want to run your affiliate program out of SamCart, by the way. But with the basic version of SamCart, which is $100 a month, 1200, pretty much 1200 bucks a year, you're going to be able to split test your pages and you're going to have a lot of ability to customize your upsell pages, your checkout pages, and even 
even use something called a one-page funnel, which is something that Brian Moran, who's the co one of the co-founders of SamCart, is a really huge proponent of. Essentially, it allows you to put your sales video or create a sales page inside of SamCart. So if you're already collecting emails from your WordPress site and you just want to put together a quick shopping cart that has upsells and downsells and can integrate with whatever membership sites you're using, then SamCart might make sense because you can actually put all your sales messages inside of SamCart. Something you can't do with the last one on the list, 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 <laughs> something that you can't do with the last one on this list, there we go, which is Thrivecart. So Thrivecart is very attractive because it's only $600 for one time. As of the recording of this video, it might change. So if it doesn't ever change, then this $300 a year analogy might actually wind up being completely useless. But the reason I put it at $300 a year is because typically companies that sell software when they're not charging you a monthly fee is they have a kind of a predetermined runway where they're going to sell as many copies as possible and either they're going to offer you an upgrade, which means you're gonna to have to buy more, or they're just going to the worst option, which is just stop supporting it. So the assumption is even though that one-time fee looks really attractive, just use it as a comparison of paying two years in advance. So essentially assume that you're going to get at least two years of use out of it before you're going to have to pay for an upgrade or before they decide that they're no longer going to support it. The disadvantage with Thrivecart is it's extremely limited what you can do with the upsell and downsell pages. You pretty much have four templates to choose from and that is it, but you are able to embed it onto a WordPress site or create a button that you can embed on your other sales pages or WordPress site. Now, if you're still with me, go ahead and hit that like button because we've gone through all of these, the strengths, weaknesses, and unique selling propositions. So now let's wrap up with a massive price comparison chart and try and answer the question, which one of these actually makes sense to purchase? Now, right off the bat, let's talk about the most expensive, least expensive, and the middle runner here. So the most expensive, obviously in red here, is ClickFunnels plus the Edison Suite. At $300 a month, that just dwarfs everything else on this list in terms of price. I think it's just way too much money. However, when you compare the $97 a month option, I think actually that winds up being the best deal on this list. But if you're looking for a simple solution that's going to give you a landing page, email, a sales page, and a simple cart where you just sell one product, then Get Response is actually going to be the winner here at just $700 a year or $1,300 over a two year period. Now, if you really need a membership software and you really want those upsells and downsells, then you're going to be looking at the other three. So for the other three, it's pretty much a showdown between ClickFunnels, Kartra, and Kajabi. Now when we're going to, let's go through process of elimination here, when you compare Kartra to Kajabi, at first, it looks very cheap until you start looking at the limitations and how quickly you're actually going to be bumped up to the silver plan of Kartra as soon as you reach 2,500 subscribers or leads that have gone through your funnels there. And all of a sudden, it's actually more expensive than the basic version of Kajabi. And if you compare it to what you're going to be paying for the growth version of Kajabi, all of a sudden the price difference is less than $200. So if you are brand new, have a zero list, then Kartra might actually make sense for your first 2,500 subscribers. But if you have any experience whatsoever driving traffic, or if you already have an email list and you know how to get people on that email list, then Kartra is going to wind up being very, very expensive very, very quickly. So between Kartra and Kajabi, just in terms of pricing and what you get as a result of the paying that pricing, Kajabi actually wins here. So then we're left with just comparing Kajabi to ClickFunnels. And here it just comes down to whether or not you want a solution that is also going to send emails and membership sites are going to be a huge part of what you do. If you just need a solution that's going to allow you to split test your funnel and you already have an email marketing software that you're going to be using and you're following the typical advice of putting a membership site on a WordPress site because you should own it, then ClickFunnels would be the winner. If you're literally looking for something that's going to do the whole nine yards, all in, all your eggs in one basket, then I think based on this pricing, based upon how things get more expensive as your email list grows, 
Kajabi would actually be the winner in this showdown. So again, if you want everything all in, Kajabi takes the top spot. It is more expensive on the surface, but when you dive down to into what you can and cannot do inside the software, all of a sudden it is definitely the best deal on this list. But if you are going to have your membership site on a WordPress site and you don't need emails, then ClickFunnels is the winner. So Kajabi comes in the top spot if you need everything, and then ClickFunnels is a second, but it would take the top spot if you don't need emails and you don't need a fancy membership website. So I sincerely hope you got some value out of this video. I know it was super long, but we just wanted to take a deep dive into the strengths and weaknesses of all of these and just definitively answer the question, which one is going to get you the most bang for your buck? And of course, if you wanna learn more about how to build funnels on WordPress, you can check out some of the links in the description that actually compares WordPress funnels versus all of the solutions here. But these solutions are definitely going to be significantly easier to use than putting anything together on WordPress, even though WordPress would be the cheapest option. So thank you so much for watching. I sincerely hope you got some value out of this video. If you're still confused somehow, comment below with your questions or concerns, or if you have any counterpoints to what was gone over in this video, share your experience below, please, because your experience is going to help other people make an informed decision about which solution is best. Unless you're a Builder All affiliate, then just skip making a comment. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, for more in-depth marketing reviews just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love.